Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining us today for an exciting American Cruise Lines webinar. My name is Anna, I'm an Industry Relations Specialist here at CLIA, and I'm going to just quickly go through some housekeeping before introducing our presenter. This webinar will run about 35 minutes with time for questions at the end. Please feel free to type your questions into the chat module of the webinar and we will get to them at the conclusion of the presentation. This webinar is being recorded and will be posted on CLIA's YouTube channel, CLIA Global. With that, it is my pleasure to introduce our presenter, Caitlin O'D. Caitlin is the Business Development Coordinator with American Cruise Lines, where she assists agents in learning more about their product and helping them build their business with American Cruise Lines. She has been with the company for three years and started on the sales team as a cruise specialist. She is located at the corporate headquarters in Connecticut, where she lives with her husband and her cat. And with that, take it away, Caitlin. Thank you so much, Anna, and thank you everyone for joining me today. I really do appreciate you taking time out of your busy days to discuss our brand new modern river boats. We're really excited about introducing these to all of our agents. Um, so today I'm really just going to be focusing on the two newest ones that are going to be sailing already on our schedules, uh, the American Song and the American Harmony. These are actually two of five that are scheduled to, uh, to be released by us, but as of now, it's just the two of them. Um, so first I'll kind of introduce you to them. You can see this diagram uh, of the original mock-up of the ship. These are ships. They're the first of their kind and really unlike anything seen before on American waters. And they're going to bring a new dimension to U.S. river cruising. The American Song and the American Harmony are wider, faster, and quieter than any other river cruising ships. Um, they're going to be the most spacious, technically superior, efficient, and environmentally friendly ships in U.S. river cruising. Your clients can expect private balconies in every stateroom, modern styling, and ample amounts of natural light. Guests will enjoy panoramic views from any of our six lounges. So, for example, the Vista Lounge offers 270-degree views from 40 feet above the water. Whether your clients choose to watch the sunset from the bow terrace, relax on the open sun deck, or enjoy their afternoon tea in the sky lounge, they're going to enjoy views and modern amenities on this ship. And both ships are, of course, built and registered here in the United States, and they both feature state-of-the-art navigation and safety equipment. Just a quick note, the fact that these ships are built within the U.S. and the fact that we operate entirely within the U.S. is a big selling point with your clientele. Um, with our clientele of semi-retired to retired uh, individuals, their route traveled, they want to really put some more money back into the U.S. economy. So it's an important note, um, something you just want to keep in mind as you're selling these cruises. So these are sister ships. There's not a ton of differentiators between the two, but I'll kind of try to elucidate them uh, here. The American Song, uh, our first ship, sails, uh, oh, excuse me, accommodates 185 passengers, has five decks, six lounges, and 94 staterooms. So the first floor will only have AAG staterooms, which will have a solid door to the balcony. All other staterooms will have a sliding glass door to the balcony. The American Song made its inaugural sailing last fall on the Mississippi River, and it's continuing um, on the West Coast this year on our Columbia and Snake River itineraries. Both ships have this unique bow ramp design that allows passengers to disembark anywhere a traditional paddle wheel can. So as you can see, it's just gonna swing up and a ramp is going to extend out that allows passengers to disembark. And this can be positioned anywhere. And I'll kind of go into a little bit more detail later as to why this is necessary. But basically, you know, on the rivers, there are some spots where there are no docks, just landing sites. Um, and where the traditional paddle wheelers usually have kind of a ramp like this, we've created this new system that's actually uh, never seen before on American waters. So the American Harmony, uh, pardon me, that uh, number has changed. It's 190 passengers now, uh, six lounges and 99 staterooms, all with balconies. And the biggest difference is that the Harmony has six decks. Um, there are no AAG staterooms, but the same thing will apply to the first floor main deck staterooms. Uh, they'll also have the solid door to the balcony, while every other stateroom will have the floor-to-ceiling sliding glass door. The Harmony will make its inaugural sailing in August of 2019 on the Mississippi River, where it will stay for the foreseeable future. So these ships are going to boast even larger staterooms. All are going to have an interior entrance with an exterior view, leading out to a fully private balcony with unobstructed views. 
You can even see here the beautiful view um, of one of our staterooms with the sliding glass door leading to the private balcony. All staterooms will always have a large hotel sized bathroom, complimentary Wi-Fi and twice daily room service. Important to note about that room service, there is no need to tip your staff aboard uh, so your clients don't have to worry about bringing any cash on board for gratuity. So the grand suites are actually uh, our largest suites aboard and our largest suites in our fleet. Uh, they're going to be 900 square feet on the Song and 800 square feet on the Harmony. And as with all of our ships, they'll also have uh, single occupancy staterooms on almost every deck where, uh, which are priced as single. Our demographic, again, well-traveled, well-educated, semi-retired to retired individuals, they really appreciate this opportunity to travel solo without being penalized with the single supplement rate as they find with other cruise lines. Um, I do just want to read a quick quote from a you know, lady who cruised with us um, and uh, just expressing how she felt aboard as a single. Um, this was my first trip at solo after my husband died two years ago. I feared I'd be left out and that everyone would be coupled up. Not so. There were at least 10 of us widowed or singled women who got along great and did many things together. I also liked the couples I met. I felt catered to and safe, and that's what I needed to gain the confidence to travel alone. Um, so that's just something I, I'd like to kind of point out. We are a little bit unusual in that we don't have that single supplement rate, and this demographic um, of a lot of single ladies tend to really appreciate that opportunity to cruise on their own and feel safe. So here's a view from the private balcony. The American Song and the Harmony will also offer room service for breakfast. So guests can enjoy their uh, the beginning of their day in the comfort of their balcony while enjoying the ever-changing scenery. And they're never gonna have to worry about an obstructed view as again, we are building these ships ourselves. So we're able to avoid that kind of thing. These ships will feature sleek and modern design, and of course, in keeping with the American Cruise Line standard and thinking about this clientele, will feature elevator service to all decks. As I mentioned, there will be six lounges aboard, aboard all advantageously positioned for sweeping views throughout the ship. So the glass atrium is centrally located, it's four stories, and it's really the focal point of both of these ships. You can see the clean look, modern styling, and lots of natural light. These ships are thoughtfully designed to bring the outside world in by showcasing three times more glass than any other U.S. river ship. And the picture really doesn't do it justice. The four levels of unique areas that passengers can sit and relax, enjoy, uh, and enjoy the view you can't actually even see here. So uh, it really does open up the ship and, uh, and bring in the sunlight. So I'd just like to discuss some of the departures um, with on these new modern river boats. These are an excellent opportunity for you to offer your clients a unique and modern cruise experience in the US for both 2019 and 2020 and onward. Our wave season discounts, just to keep you uh, you know, kind of abreast of what's happening here, uh, those are gonna change week to week, but each of these itineraries do have discounts on select dates. So please do keep that in mind and call your cruise specialist perhaps as soon as you uh, uh, finish this presentation if you have somebody who's interested in cruising so we can be sure to get you that best pricing. So the American Song made its journey to the West Coast for our Columbia and Snake River itineraries. These departures will be out of Portland, Oregon to Clarkston, Washington or the reverse and they're either seven night or ten night itineraries. Our most popular by far is the Columbia and Snake River cruise which is a seven night eight day one way from Portland to Clarkston. And some ports in this itinerary will include Astoria, Multnomah Falls, which you see here, the Dolls, and Pendleton. And many of these departures are themed, which I will go over with you um, at the, towards the end of the presentation. The Northwest Pioneers Cruise is a 10-night itinerary starting in Portland or ending in Clarkston um, or the reverse. And this itinerary will include a stop at Mount Hood and an additional day in Portland. And that's what really sets it apart from the Columbia and Snake River Cruise, which is the seven night. The American Harmony will begin the New Orleans round trip in August. Uh, this is a seven night cruise beginning and ending in New Orleans. And it's really ideal for clients who want to spend a little bit more time getting to know the area in and around this iconic city. Just to briefly talk about the destinations you see on the screen, um, or the destination you should uh, see on your screen, I'll try to paint a picture for how your clients will begin their cruise at O'Galley, which is a port on both itineraries. 
uh, this is actually the view from the ship where we dock at Oak Alley. So this is what I meant by the, the moments when you're going to need that bow ramp. Our passengers are disembarking right on the lawn of Oak Alley. Um, and then they get to walk down this gorgeous walkway. It's 300 year old oak trees um, arched over this beautiful walkway. And they'll be greeted by Southern Bells who will give them a tour of the uh, plantation. They'll be treated to cookies and mint juleps on the lawn after their tour. It's a really beautiful experience and uniquely uh, um, distinctive to this particular region. So the American Harmony will also begin sailing the lower Mississippi River itinerary later in the year in October, hitting many of the highlights that the New Orleans round trip features and more. This is a seven night journey that either starts or ends in New Orleans or Memphis and traveling the lower Mississippi River with American Cruise Lines is really an experience like no other. We carefully select our onboard experts who bring the history and culture of the region to life through activities and interactive discussions. On the lower Mississippi, guests will explore those classic antebellum homes such as Oak Alley, the Frogmore Plantation, and the Rosedown Plantation in St. Francisville. They'll dive deep into the history of the Civil War in Vicksburg, where your clients will experience a historian-led tour through the National Military Park. So this itinerary is really rich in the history and the culture of the South. Alternatively, the upper Mississippi River uh, itinerary will give your, your clients an opportunity to enjoy a fantastic uh, cruise to sail through the American heartland. Going from St. Louis to St. Paul or reverse, we cruise through dramatic landscapes where your clients can view abundant wildlife, cruise through quaint towns that inspire Mark Twain during his time on a riverboat and to historic sites as well. We actually do stop at Hannibal, Missouri and visit Mark Twain's boyhood home. So this region really does embody hometown America. And lastly, um, doing our kind of featured tour and, and you know, kind of a bucket list uh, set of itineraries, the complete Mississippi and the Grand Heartland will be done by the American Harmony in 2020. Um, this is a one way, uh, the complete Mississippi is a one way from New Orleans to St. Paul and the Grand Heartland does the same itinerary in reverse. And passengers will find themselves visiting 10 states in total and getting an opportunity to witness the vast difference, differences between the regions on the Mississippi River. So again, this is a bucket list destination. Some of our passengers have been dreaming about doing this their entire lives. So this is sort of an excellent opportunity for them to do this in this modern comfort, never before available prior to this. So all river cruises with American Cruise Lines will include a complimentary featured excursion at each port of call. I always remember it's easier to kind of pinpoint this and know that there will be a featured excursion included in a cruise if you know that a river boat is traveling on it. So if you see a paddle wheeler or one of the modern river boats, you know that your clients will be able to uh, experience these featured excursions. Um, and these are really the highlights. Say for instance, Oak Alley is a featured excursion. Uh, we also have premium excursions, which are typically about $20 to $70 per person and can be booked on board. And those are supplemental experiences, such as the Cascade Cliffs Winery on the Columbia and Snake River Cruise. So where not everybody's a wine drinker, uh, it's still an excellent opportunity for amateur sommeliers to taste the delicious wines of the Columbia River region. And those, both the featured and premium excursions can be booked on board because we have such a low passenger count, we're able to um, kind of wait and allow them to make the decision when they're cruising. Uh, there will not be, uh, limited space on those tours. However, signature excursions do have limited availability, which need to be booked in advance, uh, such as the Graceland tour in Memphis. That's a full day. We need the full day to experience the life of the king. Um, so lunch will be included for that. So it does take a little bit more planning. Those signature excursions, I suggest, you wanna get those on your booking prior to final payment. Most people are waiting until final payment. If you have a couple clients or even a group going, you want to make that decision a little bit before that just to make sure you have space for those. And finally, um, we do have the pre-cruise hotel stay included in the, pre, um, in the river cruises as well. So same thing, if you see a paddle wheeler, you see a modern river boat, you know there will be a pre-cruise complimentary hotel package. We board our ships between 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. So we offer this pre-night packages for your passengers to have a more relaxed arrival. We make arrangements for your clients to stay in a premium centrally located hotel. And the next morning, our deckhands will meet your passengers in the hotel lobby and bring them and their luggage straight to the ship. 
So this really gives your, your clients a chance to arrive at their leisure and enjoy the, the city of their embarkation and uh, not have to rush straight to the dock. I also think it's a really good idea to, if you have a hard time kind of narrowing a date down for a client and they're looking at a river cruise, you can always just ask them, hey, where would you like to explore a little bit more? Uh, what would you feel more comfortable doing on your own? Because that'll help you narrow down a specific date. Um, in my experience, that has been helpful. So I did mention that there are theme cruises, and I do always like to, to kind of bring this to your attention. They're an excellent way to kind of narrow clients down in the same way, especially if you're looking at being a group. Um, working with our groups department, I think the theme cruises are the best way to ensure a really frequent and uh, consistent revenue stream if you they connect with a local wine tasting group or a local historian society. Um, you know, that's a really good revenue stream to tap into, and this is the kind of thing they'd be interested in, as you can see. So our most popular theme is probably the Lewis and Clark theme on the Columbia and Snake River, and passengers aboard this theme will be regaled with tales of the epic journey by our guest lecturer, and they'll enjoy exciting shore excursions to important historical sites. They'll actually get to experience an exclusive menu um, kind of influenced by the local food preferred by the early explorers, which is completely unique. Um, on this itinerary too, we also have a wine theme as well, uh, where your clients will get to immerse themselves in this burn burgeoning wine industry in the Columbia in uh, the Columbia River region. On this cruise, we have wine experts who will host daily tastings and pairing classes on the local varietals, including reds, whites, sparkling wines uh, from both Washington and Oregon. So in addition to the extensive onboard board program, we also visit several wineries where guests will have an opportunity to explore the grounds and do some wine tasting. So you can see how that would be kind of easy to narrow down a specific clientele to, to get them aboard. Um, the history and culture on the Mississippi River regions is deeply ingrained in American culture, and your clients will get a chance to delve into these rich topics on our themed cruises in this region. We have a Civil War themed cruise on both the Lower Mississippi and New Orleans round trip cruises, where on board Civil War experts and authors will offer key lectures on uh, figures and in, um, individuals and battles. Uh, each day before the tour, our onboard expert will discuss the significance of the ports of call we're about to visit uh, as they pertain to the Civil War. Um, so they really will kind of guide clarification on our complimentary tours as well. They'll disembark and answer any questions during those tours if you have any. Um, in addition to the Civil War theme, we also have a music themed cruise where, um, you know, this region is where many musical styles were born, including jazz, rock and roll, and bluegrass. So um, from the heart of uh, Graceland uh, there in Memphis uh, to Sun Studio, we incorporate short shore excursions into the itineraries that really focus on the region's rich musical history and as well as their modern influence. And most importantly for those music themed cruises, we also bring an all-star lineup of local musicians on board every night, including artists who channel the spirits of famous musicians such as Jelly Roll Morton or um, the Memphis Jazz Band or the Beale Street Strutters taking out a more modern twist. So lastly, in our themed cruises, we do have holiday themed cruises, which are really a, a unique opportunity for I, our clientele. Our clientele will tend to have a lot of empty nesters who welcome a chance to get let somebody else handle the holiday prep while enjoying a unique destination holiday with loved ones and like-minded travelers. So we get both family groups, couples, and singles on board for these cruises. So to start, we offer a Thanksgiving cruise on the Lower Mississippi itinerary, which is the highlight, um, you know, of course, of that season. And the highlight of that cruise will be the Thanksgiving feast. Guests will also participate in a bread-making cornucopia demonstration while they enjoy the autumnal decorations, which will really create an elegant and warm ambiance. Later in the year, we'll feature our Christmas cruises on the New Orleans round trip. And this is a great opportunity to see all these gorgeous stately mansions decked out in their holiday finery. This is Hummus House that you're looking at right here. Um, so it's really, really beautiful to see these historical sites uh, all decked out. And uh, this trip will also feature our holiday gift exchange where passengers will bring a gift that represents their hometown to fellow passengers to exchange. And finally, we end every year with our New Orleans round trip New Year's Eve cruise which features a New Year's Eve gala with live entertainment, a midnight toast, 
and a Mardi Gras theme in keeping with the New Orleans region. So some really exciting opportunities to look forward to with these cruises and aboard these new modern river boats. So just briefly, I wanna kind of go over the um, amenities that you can expect on all of our cruises, including those on the new modern river boats. So every day after your passengers disembark, they will be greeted by a, a cocktail hour every day at 5.30. And it is complimentary. That includes beer, wine, and uh, co top shop cocktails, and as well as locally sourced and inspired hors d'oeuvres. Um, so again, that is uh, one of the times when there is uh, beverages available. We don't offer a beverage package because we include so many um, uh, beverages during the, the cruise itself. So after your clients are done enjoying their cocktail hour, they are invited to join us for our open seated dining time. And this is unique. This isn't a buffet. This is an open seated dining time. There's no specific dining time. So again, they can kind of arrive at their leisure and there's no assigned seating. So they can sit with whomever they want, whenever they want. Our clients really appreciate this, especially say like the singles, um, because they can get a chance to mingle and meet new people. We have quite a few people who've cruised with us and meet other people on board, and then we'll cruise with those other people many, many years to come. So it's a really exciting opportunity to get to know all these other like-minded travelers and kind of dine at their leisure. Once they are ready to eat, they'll be served locally sourced and inspired cuisine. What we do is go into each port of call and gather fresh ingredients and uh, to kind of give them a full taste of the region. So there will be a menu that your passengers will choose off of. If anybody has any dietary restrictions, we do have some folks who maybe a little are concerned in the lower Mississippi, they don't want food too spicy, or even if they're allergic to something, say shellfish, um, we can certainly accommodate that, again, because we're making all these meals fresh. And as I mentioned regarding the beverage package and the fact that we do not need one, beer and wine is served at lunch and dinner as well. So um, always an opportunity to uh, uh, enjoy some nice libations while you're, you're eating your delicious meal. <clears throat> So I did quickly mention this, but we always will have acclaimed local entertainers aboard uh, and they'll board periodically. So you're not listening to the same band throughout the same the whole cruise. But these are acclaimed local entertainers. So, for instance, if we're in the lower Mississippi, it's going to be the Beale Street Strutters. It's going to be something that's really going to immerse your clients in the culture of the region, um, similarly to the uh, Columbian Snake River itineraries as well. And I'd say this is the most popular aspect of our cruises. The award-winning onboard enrichment program brings local historians, guest lecturers, um, they're experts in their field, basically, and they'll come aboard and really bring the destinations to life. So this gentleman on our screen is definitely my favorite, personally. Um, he's done portions of the Columbia and Snake uh, River, the Lewis and Clark journey himself. He's actually made some of the materials and clothing to do these kinds of as outdoorsman activities uh, himself. So he's really got a unique and really rich perspective on that, uh, that journey, the Lewis and Clark uh, itinerary. Um, but you know, all of our onboard experts will have those kinds of same perspectives to share with your clients. And this is, again, semi-retired to retired cruise clientele. They're looking to get to know their country. They're looking to learn a little bit more about the United States. So it's important to remember this is something that's really going to uh, kind of immerse them and, and, and kind of accomplish what, we, uh, what we're looking for here. <clears throat> so I kind of went a little quicker than I anticipated, and I do apologize. This is my second to last slide. Um, but the agent portal here uh, is one thing I just want to quickly mention. It is a bit of a, di a diversion. But we did update our agent portal. Uh, I did just want to let you know if you do have any questions about it. This is a brand new agent portal that will allow us to um, give you access to your booking. So once you get your passengers on board, you can take a look at your bookings, you can fill out your passengers' homeland security forms, make final payment, add hotel packages and those signature excursions. Say you have somebody booked on the lower Mississippi and they wanna do the Graceland package, you can add that right on on the agent portal. In order to get access to that, you would have to just email me at agents at americancruiselines.com, right there, it's down there at the bottom. And I did quickly mention our wave season discounts. We do still have quite a bit going on. Um, I would say at this point, you know, the Columbia and Snake River tends to book about a year prior. So you're looking at 2020 discounts. The Mississippi River has quite a bit going on still though um, with all those different varieties of, uh, of itineraries. So please do reach out to your cruise specialists at the number in the middle of your screen there. 
they're your best resource. If you have any questions about the cruises, the itineraries, if there's anything else we can do for you, please do give them a call. And it's probably best to get to know somebody on the sales floor so they can keep you abreast of what's going on and what sales are coming or going. So um, I, again, I do apologize. I, I sped a little bit quickly through that, but I, uh, that'll be the end of my presentation. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Perfect, Caitlin. Thank you so much. Now we have plenty of time for questions, which we do have a couple, and I invite everyone to keep sending them in into the chat, um, and we'll get to them as soon as you send them. We have a few questions that I will start with. Our first one is Eva is wondering if um, you have brochures sent to clients. Sorry, if they would be able to have brochures sent to clients with their information to call. Um, so we don't have anything like that. We do have the travel agent brochures that don't have any um, identifying information and have a blank space. So if you wanted to say put some affix something to it, but as of this point, we don't have any uh, opportunities for that kind of co-branding. Okay. Okay. Um, Eva is also very impressed with the decor on these newer ships, especially with the wallpaper. Um, our next question is from Teresa, who is wondering if you offer incentives or discounts for groups. We do. Um, so I can briefly go over that. That information is on our agent portal, but it's a good way to, um, I'm happy to kind of introduce you to that. So basically our groups department is a $600 off uh, the stateroom discount. So regardless of the passenger count in the stateroom, it's a $600 off discount at your 11th passenger you get a tour conductor discount. And again, at your 25th passenger, you get a tour conductor discount. That is a tour conductor berth at both of those. So at the 11th passenger, you get a tour conductor berth. So it would be 50% off a double occupancy stateroom. Um, and then of course, you're getting a whole uh, stateroom by the 25th passenger. And you have two options with that. You can either reallocate the funds back to your group, or of course, give it to your tour conductor, whomever that might be. We also offer private cocktail and dining options, depending on the size of your group. Um, <clears throat> we're really able to make a lot of different accommodations for groups. I actually am in the groups department as well. Um, that is one of the hats that I wear here at American Cruise Lines. So if you do have any questions about that, I'd be happy to send you over our group's policy. Um, but I do want to just remind you, because the passenger count is so low, we're able to make quite a few accommodations for people. So. For instance, we did have a group that was uh, a golfing group. They went through the lower Mississippi itineraries and did half of the excursions and then golfed on the other half. And we kind of worked with them to arrange that. So that's sort of what I'm referring to that like, it's it's kind of hard to define exactly what we're able to do for you, but present us with, you know, almost a problem and we'll, we'll be able to solve it for you. We really are very accommodating and our, our group's department is growing exponentially. There is no limit for a group. So all you need to do is give us a call, get a group going. And then um, as soon as you've booked at least one passenger into the group, so one deposit down, um, that will hold the group pricing all the way up to the date of sale. So uh, that'll give you plenty of time to build the group. We can make you some um, flyers or whatever it is you need to assist you. I actually put together presentations for groups and um, like this one, I can uh, either do it remotely or you can present it to your group yourself. Um, so there's quite a bit of options that you have, okay? Okay, that sounds great. This next question is from Melody, who is wondering if there is an included excursion at every stop. So for the river cruises, again, like the best way to th think about this is if you're on the website, you're kind of thinking about a cruise for a client. If you see that the only ships that are cruising that itinerary are either the paddle wheelers or the riverboat, the answer is yes. If you see it's the coastal cruiser, the answer is no. Um, we usually have a couple with the coastal cruises. The biggest difference here is, for instance, take the Oak Alley excursion. We're backing at Oak Alley, so obviously we're going to include that excursion because that's where we are, do you know? But if you're cruising on the main coast um, or, say, in the Puget Sound area, there's a lot to do, say, in Anacortes or in Bar Harbor, Maine, you know? So in that case, we're not including the excursions because I would say about 50% of our passengers are choosing instead to kind of wander and enjoy the point of port of call on their own. So, I mean, the short answer is yes on river cruises, no on coastal cruises. I strongly recommend if you do have any specific itinerary in mind, you give your cruise specialist a call or check out the website. The website day-to-day -day breakdown on the uh, itinerary is very detailed. So you'll be able to get all the answers for all of those questions there. <clears throat> okay, perfect. 
Um, our next question is from Jeffrey, who is wondering, is commission payable on the full cruise fare? Commission is on the cruise fare and the cancellation for any reason protection. Um, so not on the excursions. Okay. Okay. And back to the brochures, um, Denisha is wondering if you can have, if they can have brochures sent to them, um, or is that something that they order from the travel agent portal? Whichever works best for you, you can call. I can do it for you. I'll do it for you at this point. I'm happy to do it for you. I'll send some out. Um, but any of those avenues would be the best way to get them. I tend to suggest you, you might have probably reach out to somebody. The agent portal can send out, but I think they can only send out five. So it depends on how many you need. Um, the crew specialists and myself can both send out. Uh, brochures. Okay, perfect. And it looks like those are all of our questions, unless someone wants to quickly get in the last minute one. Um, for now, I just want to say thank you, Caitlin, so much for all the information and thank you everyone for joining us. And just a quick reminder that this was recorded and it'll be on our YouTube channel, which is Clea Global. Perfect. Well, and thank you so much for everybody for joining me. I appreciate it. Okay. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.